Can you believe that CapCut just dropped their own video generator and the results are absolutely insane. 2025 has become the year of AI video generating wars. We've seen Kling AI drop their incredible 2.1 update. Then came Google and shocked everyone with their brand new VEO3 and its photorealistic capabilities. And now CapCut has finally come and joined the party. The editing app that is used by millions of people around the world has just entered the battlefield with their own AI video generator that is packed with so many things that no one saw coming. And the thing that makes CapCut's AI video generating so different is the fact that it's not just generating AI videos, it's actually creating an entire AI powered studio. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use CapCut's brand new AI video generator. I'll show you exactly what it can do and also I'll show you why this is the tool that you should be using in the year 2025. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you is exactly why this tool is an absolute game changer. So now, let's dive in. And I mean, if you don't believe me, take a look at this. This is one video that I created using CapCut's new video generator. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create videos like that in today's video. And you want to know what the best part about this tool is? It is completely free. So you don't have to spend a ton of cash like you have to do on other video generators. CapCut is delivering all of this for free. So guys, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to download CapCut. So you're gonna head over to Google, you're gonna type in CapCut, you're gonna go to CapCut's website. And then you'll notice that there is the online video editor. And then there's also download for Mac or Windows. And then also you can download for mobile. Now I do prefer to use the Windows or Mac version, but if you guys do wanna do it from your phone, then the mobile option is there. And also you can also do it online if you do wanna save on some space. But guys, I would definitely recommend going for the Windows or Mac option. Then guys, just gonna click on it and it's gonna start downloading in the corner. And then once you are done, it looks a little something like this. And then guys, once you download CapCut and you go into it, it is going to look something like this. So if you've been using CapCut for quite a while, then you'll be used to the layout. But now there is a new option in the top right hand corner, which is AI Video Maker. And once you click on that, you will come over to here. So you'll notice guys that now there is an instant AI video. There's also Brainstorm with AI. AI, there's the avatar video and also a match media to script in one click. So instant AI video is what we are going to be using in just a few seconds and brainstorm with AI is actually pretty cool where you can give it some ideas and then it will actually help you to brainstorm ideas for all of your videos. And then you obviously have avatar video and match media. Okay. But guys, the part that we're going to be focusing on is right over here, the instant AI video. And also guys, another cool little feature that has been added to CapCut is if you go down to the bottom where it's says simplify creations with AI templates. This actually just makes the editing process a lot easier for you where you can create videos in literally just a matter of seconds guys. If you guys want to see me do a video about that then let me know down in the comments below. But guys now we're going to go over to new project on top and then you will see this. Now this does look pretty bland and I mean this is only the start because we are actually going to be creating in just a few seconds. So guys, you can either add in your own script, which you would have gotten on ChatGPT or Claude, or you actually have the option, which is right on the side, which is where you can allow CapCut to actually generate the script for you. And they can create one using AI. And guys, for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what CapCut can actually do when it comes to creating a script. So that means we don't have to go to ChatGPT anymore. We don't have to go anywhere else and waste brain power creating the script. We're we can just give it a few little bit of ideas and they will actually generate the entire script for us. So guys, I'm going to click on create one with AI and then it's going to open up this tab on the left. So guys, now all you have to do is type in a topic. So I'm going to say that I want this awesome facts about snakes. And then right under that guys is the key points. So here is where you enter your key points. So the key things about the video that you are looking for or the script that you are looking for, you can even enter in links if you want to. So links from YouTube videos or anything like that and it's going to turn it into a script in just a matter of seconds. So I'm gonna put in this that I wanted to give me a script about awesome facts about snakes like anacondas, the python, cobra, rattlesnakes and others. Now this is so cool you can actually choose the duration that you want. So can you believe that you can actually create a 10 minute video using CapCut. It can actually give you an entire video that you'll be able to put on YouTube. But guys, I don't think we need one that's that long. So I'm going to click on three minutes because I think that's perfect just to show you how in depth the script actually goes. 
And then when you go here to the bottom, you'll see mimic writing style. So this is basically if you have a YouTube channel or a TikTok page and you already create videos in a certain style. So then what you can do is you can actually copy the links. You can come over here, you can paste the link in and then it will actually mimic that exact writing style in the script that it is giving you. But if you don't put anything in, it's basically just going to give you a script based off the key points that you mentioned and also the more requirements, which is what we are going to get into right about now. So guys, we're not gonna put in anything for mimicking a writing style, but when we go over to more requirements, I'm gonna put in this. I wanna make sure that the intro or the hook is engaging and it draws in the viewer immediately. I want the tone of the script to be entertaining and also insightful because I am thinking about this as a quick little short animal style documentary video. So guys, I'm just gonna click on create and there we go, the script is completed. So yeah, you'll notice guys that it actually went into some cool detail in the script. So it's, hey guys, it's me and today we're gonna talk about awesome facts about snakes. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm already liking this, but now I don't wanna be the person reading it, so we are going to need an avatar for this. So I'm gonna go over to scenes, and then you'll notice here by avatars, you actually have a couple of people that you can choose from. These are AI generated people, who's kind of gonna be a talking head that is explaining the story. But I'm thinking that I want footage and voiceover. So I'm gonna click on voice, and then you'll see here's a couple of people that we can actually choose from. So if we click on one. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Okay, that guy sounds cool. Welcome to creating voiceovers. That's a bit slow. Welcome to creating voiceovers. That sounds like a child. Kind of cool, but no, not the one you're looking for. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Okay, that one is actually cool. Welcome to creating voiceovers. I like that guy, but it sounds a bit too AI generated. Welcome to creating voiceovers. That is just Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's just a bit too Welcome deep. To that one sounds cool. But I see British. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Perfect. That is our guy. I'm gonna select that one. It gives me that feeling of Sir Richard Attenborough. So I'm gonna use that for our narrator in our video. Then I'm just gonna click on apply to all scenes. And then it's going to start adding his voice in to each one of these. And now you'll notice guys, it actually says splitting up the script. So what it's doing here is because when an AI voiceover is actually reading the script, it struggles when the paragraphs are extremely long. So what it's doing is it's breaking up our actual paragraphs into smaller bits so that our voice generator character can actually read them a whole lot better and guys look it still kept the story it broke everything up extremely nicely and I'm pretty excited to hear this so guys there we have our generated voice let's take a listen it's me and today we're gonna talk about awesome facts about snakes okay guys I am liking that voice and as you'll notice guys you can see that it actually has the entire script over here. But I think we are going to need some scenes now, guys. So I'm gonna go back over to scenes and then I'm going to click on media. So now, guys, you have the generate AI media, which means it's gonna be generating images to use as the footage. Or you can also match media, which means it's going to match the footage to anything that you have stored on CapCut. So it's gonna go through all of your actual media and it's going to relate that and then it's gonna use those. Or guys, you can actually go to my personal favorite option, which is down here, and that is match stock media. So that means it's actually gonna use stock footage, which is videos and not images, and it's going to be overlaying that over your wording. So I think that's a much better option to go for, so I'm gonna click on that, and then you'll see guys, it's already starting there, it's busy matching the media, and it's actually going through the script word for word, and it is matching it with the best possible video that they have. So now guys, our video is completed and as you can see here is all of our snake clips so let's take a look hey guys it's me and today we're gonna talk about awesome facts about snakes so let's get started anacondas are the heaviest snakes in the world they can weigh up to 500 pounds and they're about 30 feet long anacondas live in south america and they eat mammals birds and reptiles they're fake Food is capybara. <laughs> okay, guys, that is pretty cool, I must say. 
for what it did off of basically almost no information that I gave it, it actually did really cool. And I only noticed two little errors in it, which is the images that were used, but I'm gonna show you how we can change that real quickly. So I'm gonna click on this, which is obviously of bugs. Then I'm gonna click on the place, and we're not gonna go to your media, we're gonna go over to stock media, and I'm just gonna click in snake. So here you can see there's a couple of videos of snakes that just popped up. I like this one over here on the left, so I'm just gonna click on that, then we're gonna go to done. And then I'm just gonna use the first 1.6 seconds of this actual video. So there we go guys, now you can see it has been replaced. So now I'm gonna go to this next one, and in case you wanted some AI media, then what you can do is you can click on that, and it actually gives you your, a description based off of the actual text. So I'm gonna leave the description as it is, I'm gonna leave it on, the style should be realistic film, and the aspect ratio that I want is 16 by nine. Then guys, we're just gonna click on generate, and now in a few seconds it is completed, and and here we have our four results. So each of these images looks extremely cool. There's a lot of detail in it. The one that I am leaning towards is this one over here in the top left hand corner. I love the color and I think it's gonna go so well with our video. So I'm just gonna click on that one. And then guys, from what I can see, everything else looks pretty cool, but I'm just gonna go over everything and I'm just gonna change up some of the clips real quickly, okay? So guys, I just went through everything and I changed up some of the clips just to make everything flow. So now what we're gonna do is, as you can notice, the captions isn't necessarily staking enough. So I'm gonna click on elements and now we can change the caption style. So I usually like big bold captions that catches the eye immediately. I think that's just really good for keeping the audience's attention. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on a few examples. So as you can see, here is the yellow one, but it's kind of disappearing with the background. So I'm not necessarily feeling that one. Now we have this one here, which is the white and yellow, and then you obviously have this one, which I absolutely love, and that is the white and black that is popping off at the screen. So now guys, one thing to keep in mind is if you see any of these caption styles and it does not have the diamond in the corner, that means it's free. And if it has the diamond, that means that it is paid. It is one of the credits that you'll need to use. So for that, you would need the pro account. But the cool thing is, there's is so many options for us to go through. There is literally hundreds of different options. And I'm pretty sure that if you are going down the free route, there's going to be one that you will be able to find out of all of these caption styles. So guys, I'm just gonna select this one because I think it looks so cool. And then guys, what we are now going to do is, we are going to also add in some music. So I'm gonna click over to the music tab, and then let's just search nature, okay? And for videos like these, usually calm and nature, naturey videos where it's kind of a soothing tone all the way through, usually that does very well with documentary style videos. So I'm gonna click on this one here that says nature, calm, and majestic. Then we are going to add that to our video. And as you'll notice guys, one of the nice things is, you don't have to do any of the syncing because what CapCut does is it automatically syncs everything for you into the video. So it's not like when you are in the editor and you have to drag the music down and perfectly put it under your clip because it's doing everything automatic. And now let's take a quick listen. Live, South America, and they eat mammals, birds, and reptiles. That immediately sounds better guys, I absolutely love the result. And this is the kind of video that we can now post onto a YouTube channel and we can actually start generating views. And this will be in an animal style documentary video and that is the kind of content that usually always does extremely well on YouTube. So guys, now we're just gonna go over to export in the top right hand corner. And then we're just gonna make sure that our resolution is set to the way we want it. For this video, I want it to be 2K. So I'm gonna download in that. And then we're gonna make sure the file name is correct and we're gonna click on export. So guys, now our video is completed and let me show you guys how the video turned out. Hey guys, it's me and today we're gonna talk about awesome facts about snakes. So let's get started. Anacondas are the heaviest snakes in the world. They can weigh up to 500 pounds and they're about 30 feet long. Anacondas live in South America and they eat mammals, birds, and reptiles. Their favorite food is capybara, which is a large rodent. 
The next snake I'm gonna talk about is the green anaconda. Now, my my guys, the video came out extremely cool, and that's just an example of the type of content that you can create in just a few minutes using CapCut's brand new video generator. It's absolutely awesome. It does a whole lot of the heavy lifting for you, and you can see that if you spend a day like this, you can actually have so much content for a YouTube channel, for a TikTok page, for your Instagram account. You can actually create any type of content that you want. And also, if you start adding in your own types of content, if you start bringing in your own types of media, it will make the job even easier for you. So guys, if you do want to check out CapCut for yourself, then it is the first link in the description below. And also guys, I have a feeling that you are going to love the video that's popping up on the screen right about now. And also guys, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. And also, let me know down in the comments what you think of this new feature of CapCut. Do you think it's going to change everything? Or do you think that sooner or later, one of the other competitors is going to catch up? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And also, don't forget that I will catch you next time right here on Zeno Media.